What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Sharpedo and Virizion team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to my boy Erol for dropping this team. I cannot wait to show it off considering we got two brand new Pokemon we never showed off with the Sharpedo and Virizion. If you guys want to drop teams for me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube. That's my Instagram page. DM me teams over there and I might play him depending on what they are. But rocking out on this team, we got Dragapult right here. Dragapult has clear body and that Y lens. The Y lens is actually going to be used to make that Will O Wisp land more. And T Wave also has Draco Meteor for big stab damage and beat up the pair well with that Justified Brizian. We also got Cinderace over here. I don't even need to do explain it for this thing. This thing is so strong. Liberia with that Life Orb normal moveset for him. We got Indeedee, Mail Indeedee. I feel like Mail Indeedee has been so good ever since Expanding Force has been here. Everyone's been using it up. This one's Choice Spec with the Psychic Surge, Expanding Force, Hyper Voice, Mystical Fire, and Shadow Ball. All attack moves this thing's going to be able to get after, it, especially with those Choice Specs. New Pokemon Alert. We got Sharpedo on this team. Liquidation and Crunch are both stat moves because he is Water and Dark. Has EQ for coverage. Protect that extra belt to help super effective moves do more damage. And Speed Boost has this ability. I really like this ability because at the end of every turn, we get plus one speed. So chances are a lot of Pokemon won't be able to outspeed this Sharpedo once it's on the field for a couple turns. Then we got Pelipper. Pair as well. Get the Drizzle out. Get the Rain Roll. Rolling. has Tailwind as well because that'll help our team with their speed. We can out speed and control with Scald, Hurricane, and Protect. Hurricane will land 100% of the time in the rain. You guys already know that. This thing's focus has to kind of guarantee us to get off that Tailwind. Then in the final spot, we got this beast of a Pokemon, Verbrizian Justified. We kind of showed off the other two. Who was it? It was Kabalion and uh, what is the other one? Terrakion. They're both Justified. So this one is going to act the same way, just different typing. This one is Grass and Fighting with Sacred Swords, X Scissor, Leaf Blade, and Stone Edge. If you guys want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it. But without further ado, let's hop onto this rank ladder with this Sharpedo and Verbrizian team. I'm just going to let you guys know this now. If you guys see me swatting, moving my head and all that stuff, it is because there is a fly in my room. And I'm not taking the time out of my day to worry about this thing, try to kick it out of my room. I'm going to record for you guys, get this rolling. But that's just a heads up. I think it's kind of funny. But first battle coming at you guys, this guy has Dragapult, Cinderace, Trick Room Team, as well with the uh, Dust Cop, Snorlax, Rhyperior, and Corviknight. But... We, we're going to win this one. We're going to win this one. I'm ready because we're hopping back into some Pokemon. I know I've been playing Paper Mario Origami King. You guys are enjoying that playthrough. Make sure you like it up and all that good stuff. Seriously, I'm having a blast playing that. But I'm glad to be back playing some Pokemon. We got um, Sharpedo over here who I really want to bring in here. Or do I want to go Justified Verizian right off the bat? I kind of want to go Pult. Like, Pult is just so good. Let's go Let's go Pult Verizian and then bring in uh, Sharpedo and Cinderace in the back end. I think that's totally fine by me. I mean, if he goes Trick Room, then it's like, eh. It's like, bruh, what you mean? But I feel like we can kind of counteract a lot of tricking things here. Especially with this Verizian if we just beat up and then uh, dump on that thing. Because he has no follow me Pokemon here. He has no follow me Pokemon. So if he goes Dust Cops, try to set Trick Room. I can just justify, go into the beat up, and then uh, roll from there. Try to take out the Dust Cops in one shot. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, head to that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. You guys already know. I took this past week off of streaming. If you guys want to know why, head over there and I'll tell you. But, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to get back on that grind of streaming. So head over there, hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. But it goes Corviknight and Cinder. And Cinderace. Um, a little scary here. A little scary for sure. Um, hmm. What's this thing's speed? I gotta, I gotta check out speeds first. I gotta check out speeds. Verizian. Okay, Cinderace is totally going to ask me that and dump on it. Oh my god, shiny boy. This thing is a shiny boy. This thing is a shiny boy. Look at him. He's looking amazing. Okay, um. Hmm. How should I play this one out? He's definitely going to dump on me in one shot. I kind of just want to T-wave it and get after him. I really do want to do that. I could just go T-wave and drop a big old rock on him. I think that's the play. I think this is the play. Let's get it. Let's get this Verzian rolling here. Is he going to Dynamax as well? I don't think he is. He's not going to Dynamax here. He's just going to change type in and roll out. Or he might just go for a Pyro Ball. Which is actually totally fine because once we get this uh, T-Wave off, we should be able to just take this thing out in one shot unless it's Sedge. And then I can go into the Justified and roll from there. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, fool. What you want? Here comes that T-Wave. Thank you, Mr. Wide Lens. Wide Lens coming in here. Helping us land it a little bit more. But he, I think he felt like he didn't have the Dynamax. I felt like he was just going to be like, all right, I'm going to Pyro Ball and dump on this thing. But now Verizine goes next. We're dropping a big old rock on this thing. We're getting after it. Hopefully, we should be able to take this out, right? Get out of here. Get out of my face, Cinder. Oh, are you kidding me? Luckily, Buffett's going to come through and KO this thing. 
But still, like, come on. Unless it changes typing. But I think it's going to stay fire. Are you kidding me? This thing's power balls. Does some big damage. It takes me out. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? What you mean? Bruh, he's legit on, like, two. He's on two. A Buffett's going to take him out. There it is. Life Orb took him out. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? My plan didn't work. My plan didn't work because of a little bit of HP. Just a little bit. And now we don't have a Dynamax. I don't know how we're gonna actually gonna win this one. But you know what? I can still see us winning. We still got my, my boy uh, Sharpedo in the back end. And we got our own Cinderace. Um, I think I pull out Cinderace here. I think I pull out Cinderace right here right now. And save Sharpedo for the back end, right? That sound good? Yeah, we'll start controlling. I might put a burn. I'm probably gonna put a burn on that Corviknight. Or I could just throw a Pyro Ball at it. But he's gonna go with Dragapult of his own. That's gonna be his Dynamax Mon. That's hands down his Dynamax Mon. Um, I think I just drop a Draco Meteor. Or do I start slowing that thing down? Changing typings. I'm definitely gonna Sucker Punch into it. I'm definitely going for that Sucker Punch. Hmm. I just wanna start slowing everybody down. I'm gonna go for a T Wave on you. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna T Wave you, and I think I'm just going to uh, Sucker Punch up on this thing. He better not be going for a D dance. Reading my sucker punch. That'd be nasty. I think he's gonna die next, right? It's not. Okay, which all is Corbin? That's lovely. Thinking I'm going for the fire move on it. Nah, so we're not doing that. We're not doing none of that. We actually made a really nice play here. Let's get it. He's dying maxing. That's fair. That's fair. We know what's happening. We know what is going on here. And I think he's gonna try to take out my Dragapult. I think he's uh, seeing my pull as a big threat. So hopefully we outspeed, we get this Thunder Wave off, and a nice free sucker punch. Because Sharpedo can uh, do some work up against that Rhyperior. I'm kind of worried about the Corviknight coming in the back end, but still. Dragon Punch comes out here. Now Biro changes. We go first. Doing some big old damage. Get him. Yeet. Nice damage. Another Sucker Punch. We'll take that out. Let's just see what happens here. He's going to outspeed me. You hunk of junk, man. You hunk of junk. And he's going to take out my pole. That's actually fine. That's actually fine. Because, like I said, another Sucker Punch will take that out. So, do I read the Max Guard? How do I play this one? Oh, he's going to lower my attack. That's, that's a little scary. That is a little scary. But will we still take it out with a minus one? It's going to be close. It's going to be cutting it close. Come on, man. Dude, if he didn't take out my Verizium, we would have been chilling. We would have been just dandy there. Uh, Got to get out Sharpedo. He's my final Mon. Um, I could protect him. But, like, do we see him going into a guard? He could be going into a guard. That's, that's my problem here. That's my problem here. Or I can just go into a crunch. I'm actually going to crunch on this side. And I'm going to go for the... i go for the Iron Head. Maybe get the flinch. This thing could be weakness policy. Gary. Hmm. As much as I want to go for that. I think I just dropped this Iron Head. Go for the flinch on it. Yeah. We're going for it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Flutter Buy is coming in here. Bye bye Cinderace. He's gone. Get him out of here. <laughs> Super effective. Ooh, not look good. Unless Sharpedo can clutch it. It's a 3v1. Sharpedo is going to be able to take out the Dragon Pole here. Special attack did drop. That doesn't affect me at all. And Sharpedo will be able to outspeed the next two Pokemon. So Crunch comes out here. Yeet. Pult's gone. Get the Pult out of here. Sharpedo coming up. B. And now it comes out the 2v1. 2v1. Looking scary, dude. Especially because we put the Sandstorm up for him. That's going to actually help out the Rhyperior. A little bit. Rock Blast coming out here. Oh, and this thing is just going to dump on me. with Rock Blast. Are you kidding me? Nope. We still alive. We still here. We are still here. We need him like a missing attack or something. Speed boost coming out. But dude, if that Verizian didn't die one shot to that uh, Cinderace, we would have had this one in the bag. But that number one's not looking too good for you, boy. Not looking too good. All right, let's see. He goes out with the Corvo. Corvo's coming out. And I don't even know how to play this. I don't think they're both defensive tanks. We kind of lost this one. This one's pretty pretty straightforward. We're, we're out of here, yo. We're out of here. We're, we're gonna take this one and chin. We're gonna learn for the next battle and try to get a winning battle number two. Well, let's see how much damage I would do to a right here, even though he's a defensive bulky monster over here. Let's see what happens. Liquidation. Crit it, and then we'll uh, have the Corbinite miss. Oh my god, was that a crit? Was it? We just totally dumped on that thing. Oh, ooh. Miss. Oh, could you imagine this thing missed and we won this match? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. But yeah, like I said, 0-1 in this first battle. We're going to hop into battle number two. Try to show off Justified Verizian a little bit more. At least try to pull it off and then get rolling with that.
This dude's pulling out a Cherim Sun team for battle number two. And guys, let me know in the comment section down below. In that last battle, I know that I probably should have went for that Sucker Punch, but I just didn't think it was going to take him out. And I really didn't think he was going to max guard. So let me know if I should have went for that uh, Sucker Punch instead of going for the Iron Head, predicting the max guard and all that good stuff. Seriously, I would love to know. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Got to pick up a win. We're going to pick up a win here. Uh, the Sun will help out... Uh, it's in the race a little bit here, but I can always counteract with the rain. So I'm definitely going to bring Pelper out here. I don't really want him just having a total advantage on me. I think I'm going to lead... Do we lead? Verizion and Dragapult? And see how we can do with that. be pretty good. Let's do it. I mean, if he goes Torkoal in the beginning, which I don't think he is going to go Torkoal. I really do not think he is going to go Torkoal. Let me go Pelper and Cinderace. I think Pelper and Cinderace really uh, do work here. I really don't think he's going to lead uh, Torkoal. I just don't see it happening. But if he does, then I'll just uh, swap either Verizian or... Probably Verizian or Helper. Get the rain rolling. Just take out that drop. It's tough to get out of here. But that's kind of the game we're going to have to play here. We're going to have to play the uh, Weather Wars. We're going to have to play Weather Wars. Just kind of trying to control that weather because that will actually get us to win. Because this team thrives off that sun with the Chlorophyll Venusaur and that Charon with the Sun Gift. Doesn't that boost like its team special defense? Something along those lines. It does something like that. But he's going to lead these two. Which is totally fine by me. I'm definitely going to a Dynamax Verizian here. And I'm going to get after it. So let's go beat up. Right in you. Actually, we'll follow, follow me. He's going to go that way. So in that case, let's, uh, let's slow some people down here. Let's slow some people down here. I could just go for a straight Sacred, sacred Sword. But I don't want him to follow me and go over there. So I'm just going to go for Stone Edge at this point. Over onto the Colossal. Even though it's not going to be Stab. We could just save our Dynamax for the Cinderace. That's always a clutch move. <laughs> we, we already know that. But this thing actually might be weakness policy, so I'm going to actually go after Stokes. Try to get the support mine out of the way first. I don't think Tokus is learning any water moves actually trigger Steam Engine. Okay, perfect. Colossal goes for the Protect. I'm with it. I'm with it so much. I need to not go for a Follow Me, so I totally could have just went after a, uh, a Justify. But this works just as well. Hopefully we can land the Stone Edge. Maybe get a crit because crits do land a little bit easier here. Stone Edge connects, get some damage, even though it's not stab, still a decent amount of damage though. Let's get it. That's something that's gonna pop here. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Okay, so now you're slowed down, little boy. Now you're slowed down. Now we're definitely going for a beat up. Mm, do I beat it up? In Dynamax? Hmm. I'm just gonna he's already slowed enough, but you know, we're still gonna drop this on it. Just start controlling here. And we'll save our Dynamax for the Cinderace. Another Stone Edge will take this thing out, so I'd rather go after this thing. Get this thing out of the way right now. Make sure Tokus goes out. There's a double Paralyze. We'll save our Dynamax here. I don't really want a Dynamax of Verzian right now. Just don't want it. Even though I could have. Stone Edge connects. Yep, Stone Edge connects. It's going to be able to take out the Tokus, right? Bruh. What you mean? What do you mean? Doesn't take him out. We low roll it. Dragapult goes down. Verzian's still here. Verzian's going to outspeed next turn, but I think he's going to go down here. I really do think we're going to drop here. Right, Flare Blitz comes out. All right, you're gone. We got the double paralyze, so I don't think things are looking bad. We got one problem here, and the one problem is we already know what the one problem is. Is that he's gonna be able to get out this sun? But the good part about this is we have speed advantage all day. We have speed advantage all day, so I don't really have to worry about anything. Hmm. And I got Cinderace, and I still have Cinderace. I maybe should have just went for the Justify and just started running things, but like I said, I didn't want him just like going for a Flare Blitz and just take me out just like that. Just kind of like in the last one, we Dynamaxed a little early and got dumped on by a Pyro Ball. I gotta remember, no fire moves were allowed for Cinderace. Uh, do I even Dynamax here? I don't even think I Dynamax. I said we dropped this Iron Head into you. And then, do we Scald? Yeah, we're definitely gonna Scald here. We're definitely gonna Scald here. Even though he could be Steam Engine, we're still going for it. I think he might Protect, though. He might Protect, but I don't want to waste a Dynamax turn right off the bat. Oh. Oh, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. I think I think maybe he saw the water move coming out here. Maybe I should have Dynamax. He's coming in hot. And he's probably going to bring me down to my sash. Actually, take me out. He's probably going to take me out. He's going to drop a Volcalith over on my Paloops. Not my Paloops! Unless Palooper does mean work over on this thing. Follow me. That's fine. That's fine. Cinderace is coming across with that Iron Head. Uh, and I'll Dynamax next turn. I'll Dynamax next turn. So if you want to drop a rock on my Cinderace, that would be great. We are steel type now. That would be nice, but I, th I seriously think he's going to go after the Pelipper. But Pelipper, do as much damage as you can before you go out. Get a crit and take this thing out. That would be hilarious. 
Right, let's see what happens here. Skull comes out. You oh my god, Pelipper! Pelipper! Pelipper, leave him alone! Leave him alone, Pelipper! Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of here. We kind of just wrapped this one up with that. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Rain, stab. I think it's four times super effective because he's rocket fire. Rain, stab, super effective. Get out of here. Just get him out of here. Dump on him. Don't mess with Pelipper like that. Don't mess with him. Hell you, don't mess with Pelipper. He's going to go chair him and uh, Torkoal. No more rain. Um, there's no need for me to set up a Tailwind here. Do I take Torkoal out? I feel like Torkoal's just posing a huge threat here. Charm got Petal Dance and all that stuff, so I just gotta watch out for that. I'm definitely gonna Dynamax. Do I take out Charm? Maybe predict that Protect? I mean, I'm gonna be Fire Typing, so I'm gonna Dynam- No, I cannot Dynamax. All right, did I use my- No, I didn't use my Dynamax. Hold the phone. Get over here. We're Max Flame. Over onto the Charm. I'll keep the heat. I'm down with it. And then... No, I'm just Scald. I'm just Scald over on the circle. I think, I think Torkoal might protect. I really have no idea. But we're sitting really, really well after that. Pelipper come up clutch. I feel like I do so much better when I wait for my Dynamax. But I know certain matches, it's better off to just Dynamax right off the bat. But I feel like I'm always playing better when I'm just like calm. And I'm just like, okay, let's wait to use our Dynamax and use it in different instances. Like right here, I was just like, let's not attack yet. I mean, let's not Dynamax yet. Let's take out the Togekiss and try to take out the Colossal and then roll from there. Helping Hand comes out from the Cherim. Alright, that's looking a little scary, but I think my Cinderace should be able to eat up an eruption, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Even though it is going to be in the heat, that is still a little scary. And we should be able to just uh, get after it and take out the Torkoal in the next shot. But Cherim is a Sash. No Sash for the Cherim. No Sash for the Cherim. Big stab in the heat. And then, um, we're going to get off the Skull first. It's not going to kill it because the heat's going to help it out. But still do a decent amount of damage. Hopefully he's going for an eruption instead of a heat wave here. Oh no, he's going for a straight heat wave. Which is fine. Pelper eats it up. Pelper said, yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. And we're going to go one and one here, yo. Let's get it. Let's get it. Pelper MVP for this matchup. There's no denying. Max Knuckles got to come out here and Scald. So easy KOs. Easy KOs. Pelper MVP taking out a G Max Colossal in one shot with a Scald. Bro, he's a beast. He's a beast. You don't want to mess with this thing. You don't want to mess with this thing. I think ever since I started playing competitive, I really like... Like, oh my god, he's on one. Please don't miss, Pelipper. Please don't miss. But I really grew a liking to Pelipper. Like, Pelipper's always been the Pokemon. It's just like, eh, it's Pelipper. But ever since I started playing competitive, Pelipper is the boy. I love Pelipper. He is sick. But Skull comes out, picks up the KO. One and one for this video so far. We're going to hop into our third and final battle right now. And see if your boy Jeans can get a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. He has two Tailwind Pokemons with that Whimsicott and that Braviary. So I feel like we got to lead Pelipper out here. Try to get a Tailwind off on our own. And maybe Sharpedo with that. And we'll from there. I think that might be a good call. We do have that Expert Belt. We have all that good stuff. So let's go Pelipper. Sharpedo. Definitely bring in Cinderace. Everyone loves Cinderace. And then Pult or Verizian. I think Verizian can come in the back end and maybe pick up some KOs late in the round. Hmm. 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 What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah, I think we're going to go Verizian. Where do I go? Choice Specs and Didi. I think I'm going to go Choice Specs, Mail, and Didi here. To be honest, we haven't showed them off yet. We probably won't show off just by Verizian in today's video. Haven't really gotten a chance. But we did get the chance. I just opted not to because I didn't want to Dynamax it. But you guys already know all about it. You guys already know all about Justified and how that works. But yeah, we're going to bring Mail and Didi in the back end. I feel like I can come out with a Psychic Surge, Choice Spec into Expanded Force, and maybe come up with a uh, big damage at the end. Let's see. Goes to Rowl down. One's got. Yeah. Uh, gotta watch out for that big old special defense drop. I really gotta watch out for that. I 100% gotta watch out for that. So do I go after that, uh... Do I just go after the Whimsicott? Protect? I think I'm gonna protect. And go after the Whimsicott. Set up a Tailwind later. I'm gonna protect Sharpedo. I will protect you, kind sir. Cause he might be going for that Fake Tears and just try dumping on Sharpedo here. See what happens. Yep, here comes the Dynamax of Roudon. Saw that one. Saw that one. So if I can get off this hurricane, maybe get the ducks rolling. Something along those lines. We can do some work. See what happens. Yep. Big old Dynamax Roudon. Usually th this is how uh, the Roudon's usually played. Early on Dynamax. Get the Whimsicott. Set up a Tailwind or just go straight for Fake Tears. Try to dump on Pokemon. That's why the Roudon works so well. It's a special attacker. This thing has Fake Tears and all that. We get Protect rolling out here with Sharps. Sharpedo, you going for Fake Tears, please? Nope, go straight for the Tailwind. I mean, I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. Gets that Tailwind off. 
and lightning's coming out here on who? On Sharpedo. Okay, so Sharpedo's fine with that. Sharpedo says, yo, that's a tasty snack. I'll get the speed boost next turn as well. But they do have the tailwind, which I do not like. I do not like to see that. But Hurricane's 100% gonna hit. I'm not gonna Dynamax Sharpedo anymore. He's just not there. He's not gonna do it. Hurricane comes out here. Takes it out. Nope, Sash. Give it the ducks. Give it the ducks. No ducks. Are you kidding me, man? Give him the ducks, dude. Speed boost comes out. Um, what I think really think is gonna happen here. We gotta. I say we just uh, target down the swim, Scott. I'm gonna go here. I could go EQ as well, which EQ is probably the play. Actually, this thing might be weak as possible. That might have not have been the play. Let's just see. I think he's gonna uh, go Moonbus into my my uh, Sharpedo, take him out, and then uh, another Max Lightning over on the other side, which I'm totally fine with. Like, if you're not going for like Steel Specs or all that, and you're just going for that. Uh, you're not getting any boost out of it. I'm cool with it. Oh, uh, no. He's going to go Moonblast there. You going after now. Your choice. Your choice. You're losing a Pokemon. I'm losing one. EQ comes out. Oh, Sharpedo outspeeds. That's that's tough. That's good. Let's get it. Nice damage at the route on. Is this thing weakness policy? Is this thing weakness policy? Maybe I should have went for the Tailwind instead. Nope. Max Lightning comes out here on the Sharpedo. I should have went for a Tailwind, man. I totally should have went for the Tailwind, then. I should have did it. I should have got it. I just thought he was going to dump on it with the max lighting. So I just thought maybe I would just go for an attack. Give him the ducks, though. Give him the ducks. Yes, yo. Pelipper coming up big with the ducks, yo. Helper's MVP. Um, Indeedy out here? Are we expecting an expanding force? Or do I just go Cinderace? I really don't want to go Cinderace right now considering there's rain going on. We'll, we'll, we'll get out. We'll get out this boy. Who do you go for? Okay, Excadrill. Eh, kind of want Cinderace out here now. <laughs> kind of want Cinderace out here now. I know, I really do, but I already know what's going to happen. He's going to definitely drop a, uh, a, what's it called, a rock slide, take out Pelipper. I got a choice back in the move, but Expanding Force won't be too, too good here. I mean, I'll try to get off the tailwind. Expanding Force stinks. Did I just go for a Mystical Fire? Data Ball. I'd rather go Expanding Force. Even though I know it's not going to do too, too much. I feel like that's just what we got to do here. Here's a rock slide. Saw that coming. Pelipper. No! Pelper gone. Indeed, he's gone. It comes down to the boy. It comes down to the boy Cinder. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, it comes down to the boy Cinder. <laughs> Which I still have faith in Cinder. Everyone already knows how good Cinder is. Um, I gotta watch out for the rocks. Because you are definitely gonna outspeed me. I could just go for a sucker punch to change my type. That's fine. That's fine. Cinder, get out of here. Cinder, get out of here. Get out of here, dog. Why is Cinderace so good, man? It's just always a beast. Like, I'm not even, like, like most, like, if I didn't have Cinderace, I'd be like, all right, this game's over. Now I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, we still have our Dynamax. Things aren't looking too bad. We can do some work here. All right, we're definitely Dynamaxing. I got to change the weather up, so I'm going to go after you, because you actually might, uh, the route I might protect, which is the scary part. Well, not the scary part. The scary part is going to be the exit drill, dropping rocks and stuff like that. But wait now, we're getting Cinderace into Dynamax form again. I guess what's called wasn't a good choice. Virizion would have been way better. We would have had Sacred Sword. We would have had... Oh, uh, what else is there? The Leafs. Leaf Blade. We could do big work with that. But yeah. Indeedy was not the choice. Not male Indeedy. Alright, so Extra is going to go first. I think uh, what's called will still outspeed the Duraludon. My Cinderace. Beat that up, no problem. That's a tasty snack you got there. Duraludon snaps out of confusion, of course, and drops a drink on me normally. A little biscuit. Okay, so now I know this game is definitely over. Actually, are Tailwind turns over? I think Tailwind turns are over. So hold up. Game is not definitely over yet. He's not Sash. I need somebody to miss. That's a fact. I need somebody to miss here. I need a Pokemon to miss. So what Pokemon do I think has the biggest chance of missing? Actually, we lost. We lost. It's the Life Orb damage, man. God dang, Life Orb damage. Oh, no, this thing would have been sashed anyway, I bet. This thing would have been sashed. I'm going to keep big old bunny alive, and I'm just going to run this battle. Yo, GG, we got one and two in today's video. Pretty cool. We got to show off the Brizian, and we got to show off the Sharpedo, and Pelper came, comes up clutch, obviously. But I really do like Sharpedo. He's such a cool Pokemon, and I'm glad we got to show him off in today's video.
We played all right in today's video. One and two, not too bad. Could have been better. You guys already know the deal, but we're just getting back into the swing of things with Pokemon, so bear with me. Pretty cool team right here. I love the Sharpedo. I love the Brizian. Two new Pokemon that we haven't shown off yet, so we can check them off our list. Shout out to my boy Erol for dropping this team. I really appreciate it, and I love it so much. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.